If one or more of your valve clearances is out of spec, you'll have to exchange the valve shims. First, remove the tension from the cam chain. Locate the cam chain tensioner, remove the bolt and crush washer. Using a suitable flat blade tool, rotate the cam chain tensioner clockwise until lightly seated. Hold the tool in place with a set of locking pliers. Double check that your engine's at top dead center on the compression stroke. This means the cam marks are lined up and your cam lobes are facing the intake. You might want to mark your cam chain as shown to make installation easier. Next, remove the four cam journal bolts in a crisscross pattern. Take note of the two different lengths of bolts and where they came from. Now you can remove the cam journal. Be extremely careful doing this. The bearing or dowel locators may fall down next to your cam chain into the bottom end. You may want to put a rag around the cam chain opening to prevent this from happening. Now slide the camshaft bearing towards the cam gear and remove the cam chain. Remove the camshaft. You can use a bungee cord or something similar to stop the cam chain from falling into your bottom end. Now you can remove the valve shim or shims that are out of spec. The intake shims will be under the cam fall or buckets or sitting on the intake valve. Move the rocker arm and use a magnet to remove the exhaust valve shims. Measure and record each shim thickness as it's removed. Also keep track of the shim location. Use the following calculation to determine new shim thickness. Clean and lubricate all removed components with clean engine oil. Make sure the shims are seated properly on the valve and the cam follower bucket moves freely in its place. Reinstall the camshaft, making sure the cam lobes are facing the intake. Make sure your engine's at top dead center is shown and realign your cam timing marks. If you marked your cam chain, line your mark up with the cam gear mark. Now slide the cam bearing back into the cam journal. Next, carefully install the bearing locators. Make sure the cam journal has two locating dowels on the intake side and the arrow on the journal is facing the exhaust. Be sure to double check the cam journal is seated properly against the cylinder head. Reinstall the journal bolts. The longer bolts will be closer to the exhaust. Torque the bolts in a crisscross pattern to 16 newton meters. Release the cam chain tensioner. Reinstall the bolt with a new crush washer. Double check your cam and crankshaft timing marks. Carefully make sure your engine turns over properly. Last, recheck your adjusted valve clearances and reassemble.